They're about to go against a team undefeated, 3 and 0 in the Seattle Seahawks. They've been playing pretty good. Our Seahawks are kind of a sleeper. Not many people have been paying attention to them just because they don't have like the huge names over there on that roster. Um, what should be the focus for the Lions going into this game against the Seattle Seahawks in week four? Now, I'll be honest. I know we just raved about the defense, but the defense is going to have to play big. Because I'll be honest, <laughs> Geno Smith has had the Lions number for the last <laughs> how many ever years, like last year, especially too, when he got us. I believe that was in week two of the season. Mm -hmm. Geno Smith, for some reason, against the Lions turns to 07 Brady or like Prime <laughs> Pay Manning. It, it's like one of the craziest things I've seen. So, and the Seahawks are a good team. They're one of four teams left undefeated them, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and the Kansas City Chiefs. So, Seattle's a threat. So, to me, Fact. I think this is, in a way, a, a statement game could be for them primetime Monday night. This is a team who barely missed the postseason last year in Seattle. And, you know, they're trying to, you know, keep up in the NFC. And we talk about these other teams. If Seattle wins this, this could be with the way how the rankings are going, you know, with the 49ers losing yesterday and the uh, injuries they got. Seattle mm -hmm. could really be one of the top teams seeding-wise. So I think the Lions, we have a tough schedule, you know, considering the first few games. Defense has to play good and golf has to be better. Now, to be honest, I think Geno Smith's going to have a better game than golf, but if the run mm. game and all that can come through. I think we, we could win the game, but I'll be real. It's not going to be easy. It's definitely not going to be easy. And I like what you said, too. I, I respect the honesty. There's nothing more I love than an honest NFL fan. Even though you love the Lions and stuff, I just love that you were honest about it. He might Jared Goff might get outplayed. And I'm a firm believer Jared Goff is going to get outplayed. He got <laughs> outplayed by Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. I will die on that hill. Baker Mayfield outplayed the shit out of Jared Goff, man. And we see Baker Mayfield flip a whole new leaf. He was running out the pocket. It's scoring touchdowns, and I, I mean, he was getting the ball out, even though he was getting harassed in the pocket, too. So it was just, it, it was crazy because he didn't get psyched out about like being tossed on the ground so many times by Hutchinson. So, it, you know, I, I give credit to him, but I, Jared Goff is going to have to come with it because, I mean, we talk about the Lions and, and we know they're a hot team. We say, oh, they're supposed to go to the Super Bowl and all of that, but you cannot sleep. One, this is a, a, a same conference team that you're going against. Um, you may potentially see this team in the postseason going against the Seahawks. The Seahawks, as of right now, after the first three weeks in football, Seahawks, they have a top two defense in yards allowed. Um, they are top five passing off offense in the NFL right now so this is no team you want to go in playing around with and then injuries obviously we've seen some more injuries go down Sam Laporta I, th I think he'll be okay I think he'll bounce back but it's just like th the knickknack injuries those do come into play and you kind of want to just set the tone right away man because you really might this is a team you might see them later on in a wild card or, or first round whoever knows so I, I think it's it's something to, to definitely pay attention to um, other than that, man, look, anything you've seen with the Lions that you just got to add, you got to get off your chest, something you witnessed um, in week three that you're thinking about? Yeah, I'll be honest. We got to get – I want to get J-Mo more involved. I think J-Mo, mm, he has okay. a spark about him. I think this is a breakout year. We saw what he did in week one. I want to see more of that. Now, Golf made a comment during um, practices. This was a few weeks ago on our local ch uh, channels, Channel 7, where mm -hmm. he said, like, there's going to be some weeks Laporta gets more catches, uh, St. Brown, than J-Mo. I think J-Mo has to be the key guy. No disrespect to other guys, because I think everybody's great, St. Brown and right. Laporta. But J-Mo, he has a speed about him. You can use him in the slot. You can, you know, do RPO. Like, Facts. he really is one of the fastest guys on the field. Facts. So I think he has to get more involved because J-Mo also brings the energy. I love how he's repping the city when he's out and about. Man, so at I Coney. Think yeah, you know Coney. Yeah, Coney. You know, he really <laughs> he be, a, like, he, they calling him Six, mo, six Mile J. Six Mile J you know, now. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, he's at Nikki D's. You know, when you see J Mo, you think he's from Detroit. So, like, Facts. I love how he's embracing it. And two, I just think he's so talented, man. Like, I really want to see him break out more in golf, find him uh, more touches. And two, like, one thing mm -hmm. with golf, and I this is kind of an ability he can't really, like, when you made a good point about Baker Mayfield, I wish golf was more mobile. Like, Baker was making oh, dudes, man. like, he was, man. you know, crossing dudes up basically he was Kyrie or somebody like I wish he could move out the pocket because golf can be dangerous in the pocket but when he starts moving out he becomes a liability because the guys can get to him to sack and he's not really running so yeah you know we'll see yeah no I, I agree with you on the J-Mo part for sure J-Mo has to get involved and I think he's a elite weapon that the Lions have and part of me part of me feels like they know it part of me it, it, you know it, it I, I feel like it should comfort some Lions fans because 
I mean, he, he's involved. We see him kind of move around in different areas in the offense. Um, we see some some um, uh, uh, some receiver options and stuff sometimes. Obviously, they try and get him the ball in open space, but uh, sometimes you see a quick pitch or a quick toss to J-Mo in motion. Like, you know, just the small things. So right. part of me feels like they, they you know, they understand, like, this is, this guy is a huge piece of our offense. But, you know, I would, I would also love to see um, Gibbs or Montgomery, like, work out from the slot too, bro. Because, I mean, not many people have that opportunity and have that advantage of having elite running backs like that. I, I've been saying this. I'm like, man, we see how the Saints utilize Camaro. We see how, uh, like, uh, you know, other teams, even the Chiefs, the Chiefs, the way they utilize Pacheco and, and their skill guys. Like, not only are they in the backfield, but you put them in a slot, you put them in motion, just – kind of keep the defense guessing and I, I think that could really really take the Lions offense to another level uh other than that though man look hey go ahead and let the people know where they can find you bro let them know where they can find your YouTube your Instagram all of your work as well and I didn't even mention it in the beginning but dog my boy Travis Hicks interview Magic Johnson interview Appreciate the great you. Magic Johnson the second best point guard ever in to touch of basketball I'm sorry I know that might be disrespectful to some but like <laughs> that's another conversation for a different day still Hall of Famer the greatest one of the greatest ever Travis man let them know where they can find you thank you so much I actually I'm a Steph fan so I think Steph's a go PG as well but yeah you guys can follow <laughs> I me I hope you're at, a tail Magic Tat no I didn't <laughs> no, I'm playing I'm playing Travis underscore reporter on Twitter, Travis six underscore reporter on Instagram, Travis six on Facebook and YouTube, Travis six underscore reporter. I'm going to have content uh, from the news stories I do and uh, sports takes as well. And Manny is always amazing talking sports with you. And I hope to come back on here when the Lions and uh, Bears meet up. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, that's going to be rough. We, we, <laughs> we already know <laughs> where the Bears ain't got a shot in hell right now. <laughs> the way they looking.